Mic check, mic check, one, two, three. Mic check, mic check, one, two, three. <laughs> the only reason why I'm doing the mic check one, two, three is because yesterday some people said that they could not hear me. Um, but I have finally officially moved and I have finally fixed my settings once again on my mic. So you should be able to hear me. Mic check, mic check, one, two, three. If you can't hear me, then your device is broken. <laughs> but with that being said, we're back again with another video. And this one right here is all about federal. But before we get into it, let's start off by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel. Every single person that is a member of Patreon and every single person that is a subscriber as we continue to grow. Now, with that being said, when it comes to Pedro himself in particular, he's someone that decided to repost an image, a picture with him and another female, which has caused a whole hoo-ha over the internet. Now, as you can see right here, ladies and gentlemen, Pedro from his realtor page posted a picture of him and another young lady. Now, because of this picture, a lot of people are speculating that this may be his new girlfriend, his new bae. He's potential even his mistress you never know right but here's the thing though even though it has been posted even though he posted a picture of a young lady the young lady herself in particular has come out to say that pedro is literally just selling my damn house i mean listen i don't know why she's got an attitude but yeah the girl was like listen he's selling my damn house okay so mind your own freaking business I was like, whoa, chill, chill. Now, here's the other thing, though, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of people were a bit worried because she does look like a very young lady. In fact, I will show you right now. So as you can see here, this is herself in particular. And to be fair, her caption is quite interesting at the bottom, isn't it? Be careful who you effing with. A star B. <laughs> and of course, because she has a very, very young face, a lot of people were thinking, rah, has it moved on with a girl that is literally underage because she looks like a teenage girl? Well, she came out on her socials to confirm that she's 23 years of age and Pedro is selling the home. I mean, to be honest with you, I sat there thinking to myself, you're 23 and you already got a home to sell? Where the hell did you get the money to buy the house in the first place? God damn, what you been doing? Tell me, I want to know the secret so I could have bought a house at the age of 23, even though I'm seven years, nearly eight years past that. Yeah. But either way, though, ladies and gentlemen, because of course, you know, she's coming out to say there's nothing going on with them. She's coming out and saying that she's 23, of course, confirming her age. And also at the same time confirming that uh, the house that her and Pedro are seen in is actually a house that Pedro is selling. But here's the thing, though. It has also been reported by investigators all over Reddit. They say that this post actually isn't even that new. It's actually a repost. So if it's a repost from some time ago, I wonder why the young lady would actually post it out of nowhere. And then obviously Pedro would then repost an old image. That again is unexplained. And I think the problem with this story is that there's so many freaking loopholes. But right now, the internet is going crazy. And a lot of people are accusing Pedro of being in a relationship with an underage girl who also now confirms that she's, there, that she's actually a 20 year old girl who's said in the home. But, 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 Pedro did come out to say this as well, though. Obviously, as you can see here, <laughs> Pedro came out by calling everyone stupidity is a deliberate a cultivation of. Ignorance, ignorance. I can't say the bloody word because I'm special. Yes, special. Yes, yes. But anyway, listen. So, end of the day, he's coming out and saying that everybody is being misled. Everybody is chatting absolute nonsense, and this is not true. We, this is literally a business deal. I mean, listen. At the end of the day, it's up to people how they want to look at the situation. But I think, to be honest with you, given the fact that him and Chantel are recently going through a separation. And I think given the fact that, well, even though this, if these events happened before the most recent episode of The Family Chantel, he knew that episode was coming up anyway. And of course, in that episode, we see him obviously go into the attorney of divorce, obviously get the separation papers, the divorce papers underway. We see him obviously Chant tell Chantel the whole shebang. So really and truly, the timing of all of this does feel a little bit off it, if he, if he could be. I have no idea what word I'm going to say. Timing feels off. That is what I'm trying to say. I don't know why I wasn't saying that properly in the first place. I'm a donut. But here's the thing though, ladies and gentlemen, I think if we're looking at the information that we have going back and forth, back and forth, me, myself in particular, I do not believe that this young lady is his new girlfriend. And to be fair with you, I don't even know if she's even his type because she is a very, very young girl. And to be fair with you, looking at the TV show, I think, oh, hold on a minute. I was going to say his type was clearly Chantel or his sister's, best friend who both had olive skin or well, Chantel was mixed race but you know what I mean but then I remember Antonia <laughs> the people that are still suspecting that he may have had an affair with whilst with Chantel hence the reason Antonia was leaving her cup at his house 
to be fair, some people even come out and speculate that uh, he may have been having an affair, not with Antonia, but maybe even with his actual boss, purely because a picture came out where you saw Pedro next to his boss, and I believe on the other side was another work colleague, and in the picture he had, he was holding hands with his boss, but, uh, you know, depending on your perspective, I'm going to say it didn't look like as if it was a romantic way, it looked like just a friendly gesture, but a lot of people did come out and say that maybe, you know, that could have been the real plot. I never made a video about it because I was thinking this is too much of a freaking reach. But the more, but the, but the bottom line is this: is that with Pedro, there's too many women around his name, and the fact that there's too many women around his name explains why Chantel is still in the mindset that this man has been unloyal to her because there's too many, too much madness going on, and when there's too much madness going on, something has to give, and that is just the sad truth and the unfortunate truth. Pedro, what are you doing with yourself, mate? Freaking plunker. But nonetheless, though, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you are thinking. Do you think Pedro really and truly was unloyal to Chantel with maybe Antonio? Unlikely his boss, and hopefully unlikely with this new thing, which is questionable how old she is. She's 23, doesn't match the, the image. But hey, who am I to say? Nonetheless, though, let me know what you are thinking down below, and uh, we'll talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and peace.